at the Davis Cup by BNP Paribas final. Now, the other day I showed you what it's like at the stadium. Now, one of the jobs that I've got to do is the live commentary on DavisCup.com. Now, this, this is the booth that the English guys, my colleagues and I are in during the live commentary. We're going to show you some of that. Then we've got the Spanish one right there, and that's also coming through. That's Afalabe. He's one of the techs over here. Say hi, Afalabe. Hello, how are you? This is for WeAreTennis.com. Oh, great. How are you? Nice. Talk to you later. So things are rushing around over here and uh, we're going to give you a taste of what it's like doing the commentary for the Davis Cup final. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, by the way, the king is here. The king of Spain, King Juan Carlos. Now, these are all his cars. I guess he couldn't find parking place anywhere else. It's pretty full here. And that is his specific car. See the crown on the license plate? And just before matches are getting underway, or the match is getting underway here at uh, the Olympic Stadium in Seville, a presentation is being made to the former player and former Davis Cup captain for Spain, Emilio Sanchez, for the Davis Cup Hall of Fame award. And it's been presented to him by the great Manolo Santana, who won Wimbledon 1966, two years before Open Tennis began. And on the right of Emilio Sanchez is Francesco Ricci Bitti, president of the International Tennis Federation. These, these guys, these guys just cannot roll a carpet. This was the the pathway to center court for the presentation just now. These, they're struggling. Hello. Don't get a job as a carpet layer. Now each one's tugging each the other way. It's guys and girls. Oh, it's a lady there too. Four minutes past four on Saturday afternoon. And we've got the doubles players warming up for a match that Argentina must win to keep this Davis Cup final alive. My name is Chris Bowers, alongside me is Craig Gabriel and Eli Weinstein. And uh, Craig is filming at the moment. One of his uh, new toys. Well, yeah, we're filming as we'll put this up on wearetennis.com. Um, which is part of BMP Paribas, one of their, their tennis websites, and uh, we thought we'd show people what it's like in the commentary box. But we're live on daviscup.com. And Eli, are you improved without headphones, without headphones on or not? Well, yeah, I'm, I, I can hear you guys. You guys talk way too loud. It means because you're old age, you don't hear so well, so you have to think it. <laughs> what? You scream. Yeah. What? I had to use sign language with, with Chris earlier on. <laughs> uh, we're all good. I hear you guys. Happy to be here, ready for an exciting match. I'm really uh, hoping that Argentina is going to be able to uh, do a little more than they did yesterday. Uh, for all the Argentinian fans, they definitely deserve to uh, get on the board in this tie, which they haven't done for the moment. I trust that they will have uh, trust been playing to a higher level today. Well, let's just hope so. Otherwise, our predictions are completely... You, you know what? I'm being tormented here by Eli. Well, that's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nabani goes cross-court with Nets backhands. What do you love? Spain looking for a quick, short, sharp. Possibly they can replace in singles also. Can't play Mark Lopez in singles, so you don't have the option. Well, well that's, that's the whole thing. You know, that's, you have that situation with, uh, you know, that situation with the strategy. He's probably I, planned it that way. I think it was off the frame. It certainly sounded like it was off the frame. Yeah, I can't. I don't have the the court effects because I'm. Oh, I, no, yeah. I have the poor man's mic, so. <laughs> right. No, it definitely uh, sounded like it was off the frame. Serving. He serves to Nalbanyan. The return of service deep, and this time it's over! Because Verdasco again with an unforced error on the forehand volley. 
gives the match to Argentina. Straight set, 6-4, six, 6-2, six, 6-3. Six, One hour, 59 minutes, under two hours. And Argentina are on the board of this Davis Cup final by BNP Paribas here in the Olympic Stadium of Sevilla. Argentina produced an outstanding doubles match today. It really did. Just when most people thought that this was going to be Spain's Davis Cup title, it's wide open going into the final day. The final day is live, folks.